Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Oslander's Break Sun. This is going to be on YouTube as break number 341. This is our 29th Pick Your Team case break of 2015 Panini's Contenders Football. Anything that's numbered or autographed will be penny sleeved and top loaded. And non numbered inserts. We'll ship as well unless you tell me otherwise. Let's go over our teams and participants right quick. Get in the screen share mode. We have Bogey 79 with the 49ers, Hawks in, in to win with the Bears, Rocket Fan 86 with the Bengals, Oslander 79 with the Bills. <clears throat> Excuse me, MWS with the Broncos, 671 Breaker with the Browns, Don Juan Bob with the Bucks, Arizona Frozen Rope with the Cardinals, Fresh WMJ with the Chargers, Hawks in the Wind with the Chiefs, Don Juan Bob with the Colts, Laser 9431 with the Cowboys, Hawks in the Wind with the uh, Dolphins, Tron 1 with the Eagles, Leo Inc. with the Falcons, Mortar Tone with the Giants, Laser 9431 with the Jaguars, Pats Fan 87 with the Jets, Hawks in the Wind with the Lions, Rocket Fan 86 with the Packers. Oslander 79 with the Panthers, Rocket Fan 86 with the Patriots, Arizona Frozen Rope with the Raiders, Don Juan Bob with the Rams, Leo Inc. with the Ravens, Canes Fan Bob with the Redskins, Tron 1 with the Saints, Plymouth 069 with the Seahawks, Arizona Frozen Rope with the Steelers and the Texans and the Titans, and Rocket Fan 86 with the Vikings. Thank you guys for another smooth feel, making it happen tonight. Hope everybody enjoys their weekend. Make sure and get everything packaged up real safe and secure for you guys from all the breaks during the week and everything will go out Monday as usual. Let's go ahead and get into it, see what we got. Oh, let me show the case first. I always like to flip the case around so you can see it's still got the original seal on it. Bless that seal. Oh, Shane just saw it. You said it's probably just where I switched cameras or whatever. Not really switching cameras, but switching from the screen share. If y'all don't refresh when I refresh, it takes it a second for it to come back. Uh, Wilson is in the living room with his mama. It's mama time for Wilson. Hey, what's up, Brian? How's it going? You better look out, Shane. Brian said he ain't dealing with that today. All right, first pack cards are upside down. It looks like we're gonna have one of them where everything's gonna have to be flipped around. We'll just go with it there. Maybe we'll just turn the entire stack around. I bet that means that everything's upside down. Shane always loves to rub that Arizona weather in. in. <laughs> so, Brian, anything interesting come through the shop today? What's the biggest seller at the local card store today? This 
weird. Some of these are bright. Most of them are upside down. Oh, Brian left. He was in and out quick. That was a great lead in for you right there, Shane. I'll set you up awesome. Take it and run with it. Nah. I'm not worried. It's Friday night with the wifey time. I know I know Brian's deal. Alright. Box number one. Let's get it and see what we got. I'm covered a hit there. Seems like normally these ones that are all crazy like this produce some nice stuff. We'll see if it sticks with that. The first two we had that were like this were really nice. The last one was okay. Well, it looks like this card I uncovered might be our first hit. These uh, round numbers, guys, I just split them up evenly between the teams. There's no point in taking non-numbered inserts to random. So if I have one of each, one will go to each team. If I have an odd number like three, the odd one will just go to whoever has the least amount of autographs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Brian's a pretty cool dude. Variation, championship ticket, Tyler Croft. 51 of 99 is our first hit. That's for the Bengals. Get my old Bengals. Next up for the Colts is Zach Hodges. That is a regular rookie ticket of Zach Hodges. Looking like a hieroglyph on the autograph for that one. That's something different. The way I got my stuff set up here. Let me flip that around. Maybe that's how I normally have it. Still looking for four more autos. Let's go ahead and see some. We're getting kind of low here. Still have four more. We had a box the other night that was short at two autographs, but then we had another box that had eight that made up for it. Hopefully we'll have all we're supposed to this time, which they only say five on average, but most time it has six, but we still have to get four out of this little short stack. Had my doubts here. Don't think we're gonna make four more. There's one. Cedric Obingue championship ticket, 86 of 99. For the Bengals. Oh, 
And I figured that was going to be the case. We only had four autographs in this box. This is the variation rookie ticket, Charles Gaines. So that's the same thing we had the other night. We had a box of four. Hopefully there's one with eight to make up for it. Hang on just a second, fellas. All right, sorry about that, guys. So we had the variation rookie ticket, Charles Gaines, Cedric Obingwe championship ticket to 99, Zach Hodges rookie ticket, and variation championship ticket to 99, Tyler Croft. And that is weak as shit. So hopefully, like I said, we have another box that makes up for that one somewhere along the way. We had never seen that before in this year's until last night. Or night before, I think maybe it was night before actually. But like I said, hopefully we got one that makes up for it. I guess that's, uh, I don't know, the other box we had was short though. Stuff wasn't all turned around like that. Just a regular one. But at least we got that box on out of the way. Hopefully we don't have anything else like that going on in here. Later, Jason. Have a good one, buddy. Hope you feel better. Tony, man, get on, get on some vitamin supplements or something, dude. You're not around the general public enough to be getting sick all the time that you do. I could see it if you were, you know, around a lot of people all the time. All right, guys, let's see what's in box number two. Got to be an upswing from that first lane box. Right off the bat, we've got an Austin Hill autograph for the Jets. That'll be a regular rookie ticket. And we have an Emmanuel Sanders 106 of 199 playoff ticket for the Broncos. One of my favorite receivers there. Hopefully he continues to have success with somebody other than Peyton Manning throwing to him. You know, it's got to be a big change going from Big Ben to Peyton Manning to whoever. I guess it's going to be Brock Osweiler probably in Denver. It's going to be a big change up for him. Tyler Croft, rookie ticket. For the Bengals. And next up is Darren Waller, 
rookie ticket for the Ravens. See a lot of him too. This might be one of them sneaky cases like we had a few cases ago. First half be pretty lame and then the second half just kill it. Never know. Way too early to tell. Next up for the Patriots, Trey Flowers rookie ticket. Has autograph number four, so we should have two more in this box. Dominique Brown for the Bucks. That is a rookie ticket, Dominique Brown. I need this last one to be something pretty nice. We have had a, another weak box here. Still got a pretty good stack. It's possible maybe they'll make up for the four autos in one of these. There we go. There's a nice one. Amir Abdullah. Rookie ticket for the Lions. I believe, yep. Hawks in the win. Grab the Lions there, Andy. Very nice, very nice. Love his autograph. Let's see if they give us anything else in this one. be a negative. So we had a rookie tickets of Amir Abdullah, that one's on card. And Dominique Brown, Trey Flowers, Darren Waller, Tyler Croft, and Austin Hill, all rookie tickets. Packs out all weird. Well, let's see what's hiding in box number three now. What's everybody getting into this weekend? Everybody's so quiet. Alright, box number three. Let's see what we got.
We got a numbered legendary contender, Lawrence Taylor for the Giants. That one was 136 of 199. Oh, LT. Well, I just uncovered a very nice hit. One of which, I don't think we've even seen one like it yet. And speaking of, to go along with it, very nice box already. How about Buck Allen? Rookie ticket for the Ravens. Buck Allen, on card rookie ticket. Pretty sweet right there. Who had them Ravens? Going to Leo Inc. Now, oh, right on, Jeff. Going over to Jonesy's. Oh, very nice. I know Kevin said that was the only card he was interested in at a museum was one of those frame cards of Aguilar. I would like to have a Keekly, but they sell for way too high for me. What? Oh, my goodness. Wow. That just happened, y'all. Oslin is break, son. It's got a little bit of a turn up of the foil on the bottom right corner, which is typical of these kind of cards. But I was like, wow, we hadn't seen one of those live. Maybe that's why, because this is the one on one. Mmm, that's probably a little more than that. It is the insert, but I know the insert autos don't go for as much, but that one-on-one will make a big difference. Going to Don Juan Bob, Chris. He's at work right now. He'll be ecstatic to see that one. Man, congrats, Chris. That is sick, dude. One-on-one rookie ink, Todd Gurley. Damn. That is the second one-on-one of Gurley we pulled this week. Unless I'm mistaken that the printing plate was last week. I believe it was earlier this week, though. Next up is Levi Norwood. That is a variation championship ticket. 93 of 99. That one's got a pretty rough corner on the bottom right. That may be the worst we've seen on a corner of anything contenders this year. Definitely dinged up there. Variation championship ticket to 99. They iron it out. Put it in a book. Well, deformed top loader there. Let's switch that one out. That's autograph number three, box three. Next up, another decent one. Leonard Williams is a beast. Variation playoff ticket. 64 of 99 on card. Leonard Williams. Squeeze it with some pliers. Yeah, man. It's, dude, Contenders is just crazy product. You never know with it. You never know. That was a total shocker to me. I saw it coming and never thought there would be a one on one when we flipped it around. Justin Hardy, rookie ticket. On card for the Falcons. There's not a whole lot of people that are breaking contenders now. A big part of that is because it just takes so, so long to break. But it's definitely, you know, one of the better payoff products. It holds its value really well. Unlike a lot of products, a lot of products, if you don't get them, and you know when it first comes out, after a few months, the sale prices on the card go way lower. If you're into the flipping thing, that's a big deal. 
a lot of these guys get into so many breaks they kind of make it like a second business to uh, list on eBay to get funds back from the breaks they are in just to get in more breaks it's the name of the game for a lot of folks these days Eddie Goldman rookie ticket for the Bears that is autograph number six we do still have a little stack here I'll be honest with you dude I've been doing this since uh, the very last week of May in 2013 I don't know a specific date, I just know it was the last week of May, the first one I ever ran. We probably pulled, you know, a couple hundred one on ones, dude. It'd be astronomical to even think about doing a tally on something like that. I mean we have cases where we pull three one on ones out of the same case like we had the other night. I didn't start doing videos from the beginning. You can go back to two thousand thirteen to the fall. I guess if somebody had plenty of time on their hands to see what I always hit, but it's been crazy. Rookie ticket, Eddie Goldman. On card rookie ticket, Justin Hardy. On card playoff ticket, variation to 99, Leonard Williams. Levi Norwood, variation championship ticket to 99. One of one, rookie ink, Todd Gurley. So shiny. And on card rookie ticket, Buck Allen, which is not one that's super easy to hit. It's a nice card there, too. On box number three, there was pretty spectacular. Let's see what box number four has for us. <coughs> yeah, it was. That was a pretty wild one. I be honest with you, man. There's so many one, different ones. I don't know without looking at the list they have out, which the full full list isn't even out yet. Just for the rookie tickets and the uh, playoff tickets, I think. I'm really not sure, but we don't see them very often. By the time it all comes out, and they give you the short prints on all the insert autos and everything too, and then they give you the actual print runs of how many are made of each one, there's going to be so many different ones, it would be about impossible for somebody to memorize the entire list. Some of these guys in here are pretty good though, and <laughs> know it pretty well already. Yeah, he's not very, he don't have him very often. Where are you from, man? How old are you? How did you find out about Breakers TV? I normally ask that to all the, all the newer guys, but you're normally not very talkative, so I don't think I've asked you yet. I was curious how people found out about the, the site, wondered the way into the room. Like I always say, one of the coolest things for me is just getting to meet and hang out with all you guys from all over the country and all over the world for that matter shipped to several different countries now from Georgia right on beautiful state we were down there this summer for a little bit went to a Braves game into the aquarium Enjoyed all of it except for the traffic. The traffic is insane down that way. I hear you. I know there's a handful of guys that watch all the time, just never sign in. Maybe some of them don't have a sign in either. I know there's at least two or three guys that watch my YouTubes that hit me up every now and then when we hit something big. <clears throat> all right, box number four. Yeah, that's pretty true. That's pretty true. Definitely parts of it. First up in box number four is a variation rookie ticket of Eli Harold. That's not one that's real common. 
I believe this is the guy who is a short print with his regular rookie ticket. So I'm guessing since we've never seen the variation, this one probably is too. Going to Corey, bogey 79. We stayed at a nice little spot there. It was in a real old hotel that they had redone. Had a restaurant beside us that had some awesome cheesecake. So I enjoyed that. That may have been my favorite part about the trip, honestly. It's been kind of neat hotel there. Quan Alexander, Ricky Ticket. For the Bucks. Now we went to the zoo and the aquarium. They were, they were pretty cool. We've actually got a bigger zoo than they have in Atlanta here. A little town called Asheboro. The North Carolina Zoo is about 30 minutes from me. A whole lot nicer than the one in Atlanta, but we had to check it out. My girlfriend wanted to see the pandas. I don't know if y'all know this, but any panda at any zoo in the entire world is owned by China, no matter what. They loan them out to other countries. That's one of the, that's like the only thing that they had at that zoo that we don't have here. That I know of anyway, unless it's changed. Ty Montgomery, on card rookie ticket. For the Packers, it's a nice one. I believe Joel grabbed them toward the end, Rocket fan. Yeah, they must not have. That was like one of their big things they were hyping. Too many zoos must not have them. I guess you gotta, from my understanding, they had them there because they had, were some part of, of a uh, breeding program. So they helped breed them. I don't know. Had a couple different kinds. <clears throat> that, that ended up being the main reason we went. That's what they advertised and all their stuff was their pandas that nobody else has nearby. I love the fish and outdoors and the water, so the aquarium was really cool for me. I enjoyed it a lot. Sean Manning, playoff ticket on his own card, 158 of 199 for them Rams. Yeah. I'm understanding they're like an endangered species, like both, especially the one they had was like pretty, pretty super rare. Now we've had a few manins. It's been a minute since we've seen one though. Definitely a few cases. Should have two more in this box, hopefully. Not a bad box. I'm pretty sure, like I said, that first card was a short print. And then we had the Quan Alexander, Ty Montgomery, and Sean Manning. We're going to add another Eddie Goldman rookie ticket to that. Had one of those earlier on. Looking for one autograph. Still got a pretty thick stack of cards here. There's a Marcus Mariota numbered 9 of 199. One off the jersey number. Pin it. another autograph this guy's got to be a short print we never see him either I think it's only like the third time we pulled him hello Kikaha I'm totally just going out of limb with that pronunciation I'm sure I'm butchering his name but for the Saints rookie ticket Haoli Kikaha 
Yep, it's only like the second or third one we pulled, Sean. He is a second round pick, 44th overall. Well, we haven't pulled him since those first like 10 cases we had. Pretty sure. So we did have six autos. We had that guy. Eddie Goldman rookie ticket. Sean Manning playoff ticket to 199. Ty Montgomery rookie ticket on card. Quan Alexander. And variation Eli Harold rookie ticket. Which I believe is a short print too. I think the only one that really wasn't a little better than that one was the Eddie Goldman rookie ticket. He's a lineman or something. Part of that too. Getting into box number five now. Hey, somebody we hadn't seen in a while, Melvin Gordon. He was coming out about every third case. It's been several cases since we've seen him. We need him for a mic for Fresh WMJ tonight. The last, like, three or four cases have been definitely a lot different than the others we've been seeing lately. Maybe he'll pop here. Number five, let's see what we got here. Desmond Lewis for the Bills. That is a rookie ticket. Here's a numbered touchdown tandems. That one's for the Chargers. Antonio Gates and that NC State boy, Phillip Rivers. 15 of 199. A couple numbers off Phillip's jersey number. Still got my old no name on the back. But number 17. NC State jersey from when he played there. The first college game I ever went to was on the Duke campus. It's NC State. We left at halftime to take a little tour with the group I was with of the campus. Came back and Philip had done scored like four or five touchdowns on them and they had put him on the bench. It was still third quarter. <laughs> Crazy. Antonio Harris rookie ticket. That's another one that we don't see very often. I don't have any idea about him if he's a short print, but he's rarely seen. Antonio Harris. Or, excuse me, Anthony Harris. I'll do a recap at the end of the box, Shane. You got plenty of time. Go ahead and get it in, buddy.
And if you uh, miss it, just tell me and I'll do a recap again for you. It's no big deal. I gotcha. Got another Darren Waller. This one is a variation. That one is the variation rookie ticket of Darren Waller. We see his regular one quite a bit, but uh, I don't know about that one. Kind of rare there. Oh, yeah, I feel you on that. I hope so too, buddy. Here's a redemption coming up. Let's see what this one is. This will be autograph number four, box five. Rookie ticket, RPS, Matt Jones, son. Matt Jones. Kings fan Bob had the Redskins this time. Nah, it's just a regular rookie ticket, Matt Jones, on that one. We should have two more here. Hopefully. There's one of them. It's the second Quan Alexander. Rookie ticket. The Waller variation is confirmed. A super short print. Thank you, Sean. I've looked at the list several times, but I haven't like memorized it or anything. I know uh, Joel's normally pretty good with that stuff. Remember who owns water? Maybe he just has it pulled up and is that quick on the trigger. I don't know. And Devin Smith. Devin Smith, Ohio State variation rookie ticket on card for the Jets. My buddy Jamie, Pats fan 87, called for them Jets. He must have had a feeling. He's been saying every time lately. He has a feeling about a certain team, and they've hit every single time. Well, there's a nice one for the Jets. That Ohio State boy. Wow, for real, Sean? Are you joking or are you being for real? Rookie ticket, Devin Smith, Ohio State variation. Quan Alexander rookie ticket. Uh, Matt Jones rookie ticket for the Redskins. Variation, Darren Waller rookie ticket, which is a super short print. Don't know about Anthony Harris. Maybe it's nothing, but we haven't seen him a lot. And Desmond Lewis rookie ticket. We've seen him quite a bit. I'm going to put the Anthony Harris in the lesser hit stack, but it seemed like an odd one to me. Maybe not. Yeah, I like those college variations. Supposedly, instead of doing the variation 2 like they had last year that was so rare, they did the college variations. But obviously, the college variations in general aren't near as rare as the variation 2s were. So I'm not sure if I like that idea. I wish they would have kept the variation twos of the main rookies. But also done the college variations. So there would actually be four different ones instead of two. Or instead of three. I wish they would have kept the variation two. Those are, that was a big chase card last year. I know that I never, I don't think I ever got one of the, of Kelvin Benjamin that I collect so hard. Because the, the variation twos were really high. Somebody asked me to not have the variation two or variation three cracked ice. Variation two, I mean. I'm like, nope, I've got the regular one and the variation one, but the variation two was a tough pull, especially in the regular rookie ticket. Alright, this is box number six. So after this box, I'll clear the base off the table here. Makes a little more room for the last six.
I used to give them to this guy who was a high school kid. He's in college now. He goes to UNC. I used to give them to him, and he would put little packs together and give them out at Halloween and give them to uh, boys and go to go to bro boys and girls clubs and Duke's Children Hospitals and classrooms too, and give them out to to kids to try to get them into collecting, which was a super cool idea. Rookie ticket Raynell Hall. That last year was his senior year in high school, so when he went on to college. I spoke with him through his Facebook group, and he said he just didn't have time to do it anymore. Uh, the last batch I took him was some 2014 Contenders base, and he told me he had more that more that he could handle, more than he could handle in his mom's garage. He could not take any more until he got rid of some of what he had. But I haven't really been in touch with him since then, so for right now, they're just stacking up. Don't really know what to do with them. A variation rookie ticket, Malcolm Johnson. For the Browns. Right now I've got about 30, 3200 count boxes of base. Majority of it's 14 and 15 contenders. Had a guy offer me some money for him one time, but I thought it was way too low. Just the boxes they're in are four or five dollars a piece. Probably should have took it took it just to get them out of my way, but they're uh, not really worth shipping as far as that goes, so unless it's somebody local, there's really not much I can do with them. You could put sets together and maybe sell the sets or something, but that takes some time too. Rookie Inc. Kenny Bell for the Bucks. Yeah, you can make a hell of a bonfire. That just depends. I'm sure he doesn't. It's not enough for it to be worthwhile. I mean, you could fill up a medium priority box for like 12 bucks would be the shipping cost. But, I mean, I'm sure it would, he'd only be wanting to get four or five bucks. It's not worthwhile. Not even for the time. Oh, Kenny Bell. What I'm going to have to do, I guess, is move them into my other spare bedroom. We can make some more room in here. Kind of refuse to just throw them away. Somebody's got to have some use for them somewhere. Find some place to donate them or something. Maybe I get a tax write off at least. And we've got a fourth Darren Waller, the third regular rookie ticket. We did have the variation rookie ticket, which was a super short print. I need this box to get spiced up here a little bit with these last two hits. Yeah, this is pretty much my office. A lot of times I just refer to it as the card room, but technically it's the office. 42 of 199, Jamal Charles for the Chiefs. I had a couple guys make me propositions about sending them out, but the fact of the matter is the shipping is just too much for it to be worthwhile. If some of those guys are actually have showed interest could come and pick them up. It might be a different story, but you know, people all over the country. Josh Robinson, rookie ticket for the Colts. Need a big name on this last hit. Otherwise, Kenny Bell is the bell of the ball on this one. There we go. A another Amir Abdullah. Wow. Same one, too. On card rookie ticket. <coughs> Excuse me. We've seen a few cases with two of his, but not the same exact one. On card rookie ticket, Amir Abdullah.
Yeah, I'm sure Andy will be listing both those Abdullahs on eBay. I'm sure he's already got one. He's kept. There we have rookie ticket on card of Amir Abdullah. Does not want to focus for us. And we had Josh Robinson rookie ticket, Darren Waller rookie ticket, Kenny Bell rookie ink, uh, variation Malcolm Johnson rookie ticket, and Ray Neal Hall rookie ticket. Still uh, about neck and neck with our better hit stack and our ink eh, stack. Oh, before I do this, let me clear these cards off the table right quick. I've got to put two or three 3,200 count boxes together. After I get offline, let's do the ones from this week. That's about what I do with them. There they are. The stacks are so high, I can't stack anymore on top of it, or they'll start falling over. And all but about four or five of those are 14 and 15 contenders. It's pretty crazy. Somebody could make some money off of They spend the time to put sets together. It would have to be probably somebody that did card shows or something there. Nice. I'm sure the little children's would love a hundred card set from contenders. With all the stars in it. Probably sell them easy for ten or fifteen bucks a piece. And put several sets together from every box. All you'd really need to do is sell two sets to cover your call. Mario wouldn't even take that really. About a set and a half. be time consuming. Everybody today is about the quick buck. When I first got back into collecting again in 2011, I used to like to do the set building thing. I got a bunch of books here that has, you know, like the 2012 Chrome set in it. 2012 top set. <clears throat> Granted, probably the pages they're in are probably as worth as much as the sets on some of them. Not those two, but some of the ones I put together. Little did I know I'd be drowning in base four years later. Dang, we've lost the majority of the room, I see. Thank you guys for the fade. We are on box number seven. Hopefully we can turn that frown upside down. I can't even remember what all teams you had in this one, Shane. I know the Cardinals and the Raiders. There got to be something to go along with the girly, I would think. We haven't seen any cracked ice yet. Good news is we're just now halfway, so we still got as many as we've seen to go. Steelers, Texans, and Titans. I knew you had another big one, the Titans. So many people have been asking about the Titans lately. It's kind of crazy. There was two or three people that asked if they were still available after you snatched them. It's been like that the last few cases. I guess because people see so many Jameis Winston coming out, they assume that, oh, well, there's got to be a Mariota next. Clive Wofford Championship Ticket, 2 of 99. Not bad for your Raiders. Next best thing to Amari. Rookie wise.
There's one for the Texans, too. Curtis Drummond. It's a rookie ticket. And all it takes is that one box. I was at about three or four cases ago. I was hitless to the very last hit of the break. Hit a decent card, very last hit. Never give up, never surrender, sir. Alright, looking for autograph number three, box seven. Yeah, no doubt. I just, I don't understand how anything less than a full case break is appealing to some folks. I think people just see the shiny, you know, when you have different boxes from different products as far as mixers. I don't know, it catches people's eye because of variety. I mean, everybody likes variety, but not if there's, you know, the good hits are already gone. You never know. But it sucks to be a part of one of those and then to realize at the end, well, there was nothing worth more than spot price that came out. <laughs> There's a nice one for the play uh for the Cardinals. Playoff ticket twenty three of forty nine, Bruce Arian coaches ticket. This looks like it might be a shame box. All three hits are going to shame so far. I haven't pulled that one yet. That's the first time I pulled the playoff ticket of him. Pulled several of his regular ones. I'll tell you what, we're going to be shorted again because we got way too low of a stack here. Stefan Anthony, rookie ticket. For the Saints, there's no way we have two more autographs here. Oh, did I? I didn't remember pulling the playoff ticket of him. Well, I stand corrected. That was the very second case. Man, I don't know what's up with the, the shorten of the hits here. This is our second box with only four autographs. But they doubled up on pennants at the end. <laughs> Stefan Anthony, rookie ticket. Bruce Arians, playoff ticket, 23 of 49. Curtis Drummond, rookie ticket. And Clyde Walford, championship ticket at 99. So, I don't know if there's any coming back with being four short now. It does say on the box, fine on average, five autographs, so. Until tonight, we'd only seen one box that had four, though. I didn't even realize that until we got down to the very end. This pack had gotten so short. Well, there's still a chance with five more boxes here to turn it around on that note. But, mm. Let's see, the way contenders have been since I know anything about it, since 2011, as far as you know, breaking and really knowing the product pretty well. I've been breaking since 2013, but I broke 11 in mixers back in the day. They only guarantee five ever, but there's always been six. So it's kind of hard to even complain when you're short it like that because every one's got one more than what it claims it does. They make the process so crazy to get anything replaced or anything. You'd have to actually get somebody to watch this video. Then you gotta send in a, a UPC from the pack, the UPC from the box, and the UPC from the case, and an original receipt from your proof of purchase. Write them a letter, send all that off, so it's gonna cost you a few bucks to send that in snail mail, and then hope that you get a reply at some point. So for me, I mean, I don't even feel like it's worthwhile to, to go through the process. 
I try calling tops about our missing jumbo RPA in our one case of museum. I've got nothing but the runaround so far. I haven't actually talked to anybody that knew what was going on. So, I don't know. Don't think anything will ever come of that either. But at least we've got it here on video to prove it. But, yeah. I kind of look at it like, well, those are probably a couple more Darren Wallers anyway. IFO, Eat, Pray, Olamu. Rookie ticket for the Browns. For the Ravens, Kamar Aiken rookie ticket. Been a fairly solid case, you know, other than the two boxes with four autographs. Been a couple of lame boxes, but we got a good stack of nice hits here. Need something to go with the girly. I know it's a one of one. There ought to be another big name in here though. We need some cracked ice. There's Renil Hall again. Rookie ticket for the Bucks. Lots of repeats in this one. Oh my gosh. Darren Waller, fourth rookie ticket of the bot of the case. We did have this variation rookie ticket as well. That is officially the most of the same exact card we've seen in a case of contenders this year. Hopefully we got two more to come. 26 of 99, Larry Fitz, pennant for the Cardinals. Trey Flowers turned upside down. Ricky Ticket for the Patriots. Oh, hopefully got one more here left. It is a redemption. Could be one of the big ones we've been waiting on, possibly. Save it for last here. she wrote for this box. Good luck, fellas. Not the huge one we were looking for, but very, very nice. Rookie championship ticket, RPS, college variation. That's pretty big, actually. TJ Yeldon in his Alabama uniform. Somebody got some Jaguars towards the end. Laser 9431, Charles. Congrats, Charles. Second college variation in this case. And that'll be a sweet one. Oh, we had TJ Yeldon rookie championship ticket college variation. That might possibly be to 25. Some of the bigger names championship tickets are 25, but at least to 49. We also had rookie tickets of Trey Flowers, Darren Waller, Ray Neil Hall, Kamar Aiken, and Ifo Ikpre Olamu in that box.
getting into box number nine here. We haven't had any randoms yet. If we have any points or any duels, we'll go to random at the end of the break here. Also, do a full recap of all the hits. Hopefully, we see some cracked ice here, too. Ain't no cracked ice in this case yet. Pretty odd. Still got four more boxes here, though. Dominique Brown for the Bucks rookie ticket. Seen a lot of those, what I kind of consider filler autograph guys. This case, next up for the Steelers is Tyler Murphy rookie ticket. Kind of bummed out about Heath Miller retiring. He's always been one of my favorite guys. Especially at the tight end position. Top two or three there. In my book of all time. <clears throat> had 11 great seasons there. That's why Big Red was talking about grabbing the Steelers earlier. Shane. I guess you probably know that by now. And it's all I am doing stuff. But old Jesse James. Probably just flung him in the starter spotlight. And for the Bengals, Tyler Croft. That's like the one we had last night. The most off-centered one we've seen in contenders. That one must have been cut from the same sheets. He's a uh, very flaky Shane. He'll change his mind five times in ten seconds. He probably looked at that. You beating him to it in the store as a sign or something. A very indecisive individual. Good dude. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, very indecisive. Yep, third Tyler Croft. Mm. We should have three more here. There's Deron Smith. Can't get out of the case of contenders this year without him. Nice penmanship, Deron Smith. Another rookie ticket. Yeah, I feel you, Shane. <sighs> Hope there's something in here nice for you, buddy. Clyde Wofford's not bad, but that's still Clyde Wofford. There's a Charles Johnson, 38 of 199, playoff ticket. Or Charles Woodson, I don't know why I said Charles Johnson. Thinking about my Panthers, I guess. Old Charles Woodson. Going to be a commentator now. Or an analyst, rather. And the ever-present Marcus Golden. We hadn't seen him yet this case. For rookie ticket. I'm getting there myself. I had two slices of the... Last two slices of leftover pizza earlier. 
right before I got on. It's been more off, that's for sure. That should be our last autograph there with the redemption. And it is. Good luck, everybody. Are you kidding me? Rookie playoff. Come on, man. Rookie playoff ticket college variation TJ Yeldon. Our third college variation in this case, second of TJ Yeldon. We had the championship ticket and the playoff ticket. College variations of Yeldon. A very nice pickup by Charles, aka Laser9431 there with the Jags. So we had the playoff ticket, TJ Yeldon, college variation. And then we had rookie tickets of Marcus Golden, Deron Smith, Tyler Croft, Tyler Murphy, and Dominique Brown. This has definitely been a different kind of case. Tenders are so deep, you never know what you're going to get. I think we've only had one other case this year that had this many duplicates in it. They're probably running about neck and neck. Lots of lesser names, but at least every box has had, with the exception of the two that were shorted, every box has had at least one really nice card, if not two or three or four. Had a couple of boxes that were almost all nice. Yeah. Just so let's hit a giant one time. Yeah, Landon Collins for the Giants is a beast. That's the main rookie you're looking for. Although there's Eric Flowers and that one dude with the, the weird name. I always call Weem Away or Kuma Matata. We got both those guys for the Giants too. They're good. I know I typically stick around while I'm uh, sorting everything down here and getting the video up. I'm going to call it a wrap tonight, right after the break. I'm going to spend some time with my lady, which I'll still have a good, about an hour of stuff to do before I can go and do that. But go ahead and get the show on the road here tonight. Box number 10. We'll be back Monday to do it all over again. This is a weird case for sure. That one one Todd Gurley was an amazing hit. I see some cracked ice in these last three boxes. It's almost like they're being stingy with some of the stuff because of the Gurley. There's a Mario Edwards Jr. Uh, no championship ticket. 92 of 99. For the Raiders. Second round pick. 35th overall. So very early in the second round. For the Chiefs. Deron Brown. She's been hitting well in the last couple cases. Not yet tonight. But the Ron Brown rookie ticket. Not hitless. We had two Sharkandrick West. Case before last. And we had one and a nice Chris Conley championship ticket to 49 last night. You never know from one case to the other though.
Here is a numbered Max Williams for the Ravens. Rookie of the Year contender, 142 of 199. And another Curtis Drummond. That is a rookie ticket for the Texans. Michael Bennett championship ticket. 52 of 99 for the Jaguars. That's autograph number four, box 10. Hopefully, we got two more in here. We got a pretty short stack. Still plenty of room to have two more, though. Eric Kendricks for the Vikings is up next. He is a rookie ticket. With another redemption. We'll do that last here. I believe last night's case may have been the least redemptions we ever had in a case this year. We only had two, or maybe it was three. I think it ended up being three. This is what our third or fourth one in this case. Rookie ticket. Oh, my goodness. RPS college variation. Tevin Coleman. Officially the most college variations we've seen in a case. Maybe in lieu of cracked ice, or like instead of putting cracked ice in this one, let's put four college variations. We've seen three a couple of times, but we've never seen four. Now we have. And Tevin Coleman for the Falcons. Going to Leo Inc. Goes right along with the statement that all these cases are so different. Tevin Coleman, rookie ticket, RPS, college variation. Eric Kendricks, rookie ticket, championship ticket, 99, Michael Bennett. Curtis Drummond rookie ticket, Deron Brown rookie ticket, and Mario Edwards Jr. to 99 championship ticket. Still have two boxes left. Hopefully if I hadn't hit you something nice, I can pull it here in the last two boxes. I really appreciate you guys coming together and helping me fill tonight. Had my concerns with so many people missing in action on this one that we get it done tonight, but we, we did. Some folks are struggling this break. Hopefully, I can get you something here in the last couple of boxes. It won't make you feel any better, but I've got the Bills and the Panthers. So far, all I have to show is a Desmond Lewis rookie ticket for the Bills. I don't think as much of anything. I'm kind of in the same shoes. Hopefully, we can change it up for us. We're damn sure we're going to try here. Box number 11. Let's see what we got. 
First up for the Cardinals is a Jackson Shipley rookie ticket. Pretty nice autograph on that one. Looking pretty sharp. Base car trying to get away there. Next up, the various Daniels playoff ticket, 41 of 99 for the Vikings. Got an Andy Luck, number two of 199. I thought it was a 12 there at first. I'm gonna say jersey number. But nope, two of 199. Playoff ticket for the Colts. If he can still stay healthy, they might see the playoffs this coming year. It's possible. Next up is a Geno Grisham. We pulled his Super Bowl ticket. That one is for the Patriots. This time a rookie ticket. That's our third autograph in box 11. Now the Charger we're looking for. Dreamus Smith for the Chargers rookie ticket. Hoping to see a Melvin Gordon tonight. And hopefully we got two more autographs in this one. Be nice to see more than that. We had two boxes that only had four autographs in this case, which has never happened. Not this year anyway. And contenders. It'd be nice to have something extra in these last couple. We did, however, have four college tickets, college variations, which we have never seen before, and a one-on-one girly. But at the same same token, we haven't had any cracked ice. Let's see who this is. Rookie of the year contenders autograph RPS Doriel Green Beckham for the Titans. For the Titans. Yep, I know, not not the Titan you're looking for. T.Y. Hilton sliding out of the stack there. Those pennants can get slippery. Oh, here's a nice one for you, Shane. Variation rookie ticket on card. Jalen Strong. Really nice for the Texans. Are you hoping for a Raider? Oh yeah, because of the redemption, you're hoping for Cooper. I got gotcha. you. I'm with you. Oh, variation rookie ticket on card Jalen Strong. Doyle Green Beckham, rookie of the year contender. Autograph for the Titans. Dream of Smith rookie ticket, Gino Grisham rookie ticket, the various Daniels to 99 playoff ticket, and Jackson Shipley rookie ticket. All comes down to the last box, guys. Super odd case. I said we did have the four college variations, which I've never seen before. We have had a couple of cases with three, but not one with four. We haven't had any cracked ice in this case, which we've. Uh, 
I don't know. I think we had one case that didn't have cracked ice this year. I know we've had a couple that only had one. The Jalen, I knew that was a nice one. Um, I think Jalen Strong is going to be really good. So I don't have any idea what that sells for off the top of my head, but being a super short print, hopefully it was probably at least close to spot price Just for that one. He pulled a couple of his cracked ice in earlier cases this year. Lots of repeats in this one too. We've only seen one other case probably with this many duplicates. You'll see what I mean when I do the recap here. And unless we have something to random in this box, we don't have any randoms to do, so I'll go straight to the recap. It couldn't really hurt anything either way, Shane. Why not? There's no I'm rooting for you, buddy. I know there's something that pulls it out for you here at the end. I have a feeling there's several several people in a similar situation on a lesser scale in this one. All right, box number 12, let's get it. First up for the Seahawks, who I don't think had a hit yet. Rookie ticket, Jake Waters. I had three different people that want the Seahawks. There was uh, the two guys that called for them, called for them within a minute of each other. Of course, I do the fair thing, give it to the guy that called for them first. But Cedric Obingue, rookie ticket. Lots of interest in the Seahawks tonight. Titans, too. Nah. It happens, man. Oh, there's one we don't see very much. Wow, and the 25. 6 of 25. Rookie Inc. on card. Mike Davis. A short print at the 25. According to Corey, a.k.a. Bogey79. Card's in pretty damn good shape, too. For one of those. A lot of times those cards that have the foil on them have the turned up corners. So Shane, man, I just want to say I appreciate you, dude. That goes for everybody, but I know you bought a few more teams than you normally would to help the cause tonight. I have a feeling that kind of stuff you know, pays off in the future, if not immediately. Kevin White, no, not that Kevin White. Kevin White, the wide receiver out of TCU. Now, you've been hanging out and chatting with me for years, and I always just kind of observed, and we always try to get you into the football breaks. We finally twisted your arm into it this year. we got a damn good group of guys right now getting into the breaks. Really enjoy hanging out with you guys during the week. I'll take a sip of water before this one because uh, 
Should have two more hits. We've had four in this one so, so far. Well, maybe this will make you feel a little better. Ooh. Rookie ticket on card Marcus Mariota. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Mike, we've only had one charger, and it was not the one you're looking for, but no Gordon, buddy. I'm sorry. That should be a whole lot in the right direction. <laughs> whole lot more than what it looked like it was going to be. I wish that they would focus their stuff more toward group breaking and make it where every team had a little something decent, but... That's just not the case. I think the re reality of the matter is a lot of times the stuff is just so random. I don't think that they really pay attention to everything that goes in every single case. Obviously, they don't or they wouldn't put, you know, three or four of the same guy in the same case. No, a lot of times it's just total randomness. Hopefully, you got a little something if you know, you're in the break tonight, if you're in the room now or watching later. We got a C.J. Anderson playoff ticket, 73 of 199. Um, everybody should be getting some sort of package except for maybe a couple of people. There are sometimes a couple of people that don't have any inserts or anything. Hopefully we had something decent from one of the breaks earlier in the week. And if you're hitless, I feel your pain. I went hitless with the Panthers in this one. And one card with the bill, so I had about a hundred bucks in for a nobody Ricky ticket, so I feel your pain. Deron Smith is the second one of those. That is the last of the break. If you did miss any of it, or if you're watching uh, the YouTube, I'm going to do a recap now. We didn't have anything to random. This last box was Deron Smith rookie ticket. Marcus Mariota on card rookie ticket. Kevin White rookie ticket. 6 of 25 rookie ink on card Mike Davis. Cedric Abingue and Jake Waters rookie tickets. We had zero cracked ice, which is a first for 2014 contenders. But on the uh, on the other hand, we did have four college variations, which I've never seen more than three in a case. We've had a couple with three. Yeah, I'm going to have to. That's mandatory. <laughs> Shane, thank you again, buddy. Let's go over the hits right quick. This is kind of a lesser hit stack I consider. Rookie ticket, unless I say otherwise. Jake Waters, Cedric Abingue, Kevin White, Deron Smith, the various Daniels playoff ticket to 99, Geno Grisham, Dreamus Smith, Jackson Shipley, Deron Brown, Curtis Drummond, Michael Bennett, championship ticket to 99, Eric Kendricks, Mario Edwards Jr., championship ticket to 99, Tyler Murphy, Tyler Croft, Deron Smith, Marcus Golden, Dominic Brown, Kamar Aiken, Raynell Hall, Darren Waller, Trey Flowers, Ifo Ikpre Olamu, Curtis Drummond, Stefan Anthony, uh, that is the variation rookie ticket, Malcolm Johnson, rookie ink, Kenny Bell, Darren Waller, Josh Robinson, Raynell Hall, uh, Anthony Harris, Desmond Lewis, that was my one hit, <laughs> Eddie Goldman, a variation championship ticket to 99, another Eddie Goldman. Dominic Brown, Trey Flowers, Darren Waller, Tyler Croft, Austin Hill, Tyler Croft, Variation Championship Ticket to 99, Zach Hodges, Cedric Abingue to 99 Championship Ticket, and Variation Charles Gaines Rookie Ticket. Uh, you see what I was talking about, about a lot of repeats there. We did have a pretty hefty stack of, of better hits. We had a... Uh, Ricky Inc. on card Mike Davis, 6 of 25. 
Marcus Mariota, rookie ticket on card. Doyle Green Beckham, rookie of the year contenders autograph for the Titans also. Super short print confirmed, Jalen Strong on card rookie ticket variation. Rookie ticket college variation, Tevin Coleman for the Falcons. Rookie college variation, TJ Yeldon. That is the playoff ticket on that one. For the Jags, another one for the Jags, rookie championship ticket, college variation, TJ Yeldon. I had the playoff and the championship ticket. Clyde Walford, championship ticket to 99. Bruce Arians, coach's playoff ticket to 49. Amir Abdullah, rookie ticket on card. Darren Waller, uh, variation rookie ticket. Now, we did have four regular Darren Waller rookie tickets in this one. Pretty sure that one is a short print. He's, we see his regular one a lot, but not that one. Uh, Matt Jones, rookie ticket for the Redskins. Quan Alexander, rookie ticket. Devin Smith, Ohio State variation. That college variation again. That one is on card for the Jets. Variation, Eli Harold. I'm pretty sure that's a short print as well. Uh, Quan Alexander again. Ty Montgomery, on card rookie ticket. Sean Mannon, uh, 158 of 199. Playoff ticket. Halui Kikaha, which I'm pretty sure is a short print as well. On card, Buck Allen rookie ticket. Variation playoff ticket to 99. On card, Leonard Williams for the Jets. On card, rookie ticket, Justin Hardy. A second, Amir Abdullah rookie ticket. And a one of one. Rookie Inc. Todd Gurley for the Rams. So no cracked ice, but four college variations. Lots of repeats in this one, but we did have the one on one Gurley. Uh, I said some nice college variations. Bob, Charles, Sean, thank you guys for sticking with me here till the end. If you guys wanna wanna chat or need anything from me during the weekend, just hit me up. Y'all got the number, Facebook, and all that good stuff, email. I'm going to try to start it out right here. i got about another hour of stuff to do. I'm going to try to relax a little bit. I'll make sure and get y'all stuff shipped out Monday as usual. Appreciate it, fellas. 29 teams left in the next case for Monday. That'll be sitting there for anybody who wants to grab Teams over the weekend. Charles, if you're still listening, bud, to get get your uh, payment for uh, the Cowboys in the next case. Thank you for going ahead and paying for me. Locking in that team. Till next time. Oslanders break, son. He gone. <laughs>